Hey all, this is Tansiha. Welcome to DA Solutions. In today's video, I will walk you through composite items. Before getting into the video, let's check what composite items are and the items associated to composite items such as assemblies and kit. Composite item in Zoho inventory is a single commodity that is made up of two or more items or services or combination of those two. There are two distinct types under this category. They are assemblies and kits. Assemblies, formerly known as bundles, is used when you physically assemble a single item from individual components. These are useful for manufacturers or business that produce finished goods, etc. On the other hand, kit items are a group of existing items for sale without any physical assembly. These are useful for gift sets, product combos, discount combos, etc. So in this video, let's check how to create a composite item and how to track inventory against this composite item when it is created under assembly as well as kit. Before that, we have to note that composite item feature doesn't support in Zoho books. So to come under Zoho books, what you have to do is you have to add on Zoho inventory. When you add Zoho inventory, you can enable the feature in Zoho books also. So for that under settings, go to item and you can see composite over there. Enable composite item by clicking on the checklist and click save. So once you have enabled composite item, you can see composite item feature under item module in Zoho books. Click on that. All the created composite items will be listed over here. To create a new composite, click on new button. Provide the composite name. Here I am providing it as chocolate. Then I am creating assembly item. Provide the unit. Set the tax preferences. Associate the items like uh, the raw materials you have added to create the chocolate. So for example, I'm here adding cocoa powder. Then the quantity here shows that by how many quantity you have to be added to create the finished goods as chocolate. So here I'm providing it as 0 0.5. Next I'm choosing sugar. And I am providing quantity as 1 kg. Now you can provide the sale information and purchase information. You can copy the total of selling price of this raw material like this by clicking on copy from total or else you can manually add the amount. You can map the accounts that to be reflected in financial reports for sales and purchases. Then track inventory. You can choose the inventory account under which the reports has to be reflected. Then the valuation method. Here I'm choosing WAC. Click on save button. So here you can see the created composite item chocolate. Then you can see associated items as cocoa powder and sugar. So here the quantity reflect that by this quantity we quantity we will be creating a new item called chocolate so usually to add on this stock we will be purchasing goods instead in composite item we are not purchasing the goods instead we are manufacturing the item so to increase the quantity you have to create assemblies for that then the finished good product stock quantity will be increased and the associated items quantity will be Reduce here under locations you can see the quantity as zero and we can check the item quantity for cocoa powder here I can see 100 kgs available for sale then again sugar 100 so to sell the finished good chocolate what I have to do is I have to create assembly for that, click on create assembly. According to the available raw material quantity, here it lists how many units you can be manufactured against the quantity available of the raw material. So here I am choosing it as um, 30. 
then you can create the assembly item by clicking on assemble so when i check the quantity of chocolate now under location you can see it as 30 and under item the raw materials will be reduced under location here you can see 85 as i have uh, provided zero point quantity to create chocolate now under sugar you can see it as 70 so 30 kg is reduced from the raw material this is how we have created assembly kits now we can provide kit items for that you have to click on composite item here i am providing gift combo as a composite item now click on kit item choose the quantity provide the associate items here i am providing chocolate 30 packets are available then i am providing two next mango drink here i am choosing it as one only provide the selling information details as there is no physical quantity involved so there won't be any cost price affected over here so that's why we are getting sale information only so we have to provide sale selling price then the account to be mapped under sales click on save button now you can see what happens when you sell these items so here i am generating an invoice we have to note that for kit item like assembly item there won't be any particular separate physical stock for the kit item we have created it will be calculated separately or individually so while creating the invoice i have choosing a customer from the list then i am choosing chocolate as i have created the composite item and created assembly there are 30 quantity available against this chocolate so i am choosing five to sell i have created chocolate under this composite still my quantity has been reduced okay so next i am choosing the kit item gift combo so i have created invoice against chocolate and gift combo chocolate is an assembly item and gift combo is an kit item so if i mark it as sent then the quantity will be reduced from this items and you can check it under item module or from the reports also here gift combo you can see there won't be any physical stock over here then under chocolate you can see this has been reduced to 23 from 30 it has been reduced to 23 i hope you found this video helpful and don't forget to like share subscribe and comment if you want more zoho tutorial you could connect with us thank you for watching see you in the next video